Hello and welcome to my channel on Sudoku. What I want to do is a series of videos looking at different ways of analysing and solving your Sudoku puzzle. I'm using Duncan's Sudoku Solver and this is the website here littlegogs.com and you can download the solver here just put in your email address there submit and you will get a link and these series of videos I'm going to be looking at all of these different ways of analyzing normal sudokus that's it so let's get down to work okay moving on quickly in this uh, video we're going to look at associates and associates are when all occurrences of a particular possible in a row column or house are confined to a single segment and that begs the question well, what's the segment well a segment is basically where a row and a house intersect. So if we look here at row D and house five, the intersection is here, these three cells. Or if it was row F, the intersection would be here. Now in this particular example, if we look at row G and the possible three, the number three, we see that they're here here and here and nowhere else in that row so for that row three is going to appear somewhere in this segment and that means that for this house three can't appear anywhere else because it's going to be up there in either g1 g2 or g3 so this tree here is false that's basically it let's have a look now at another example Right, looking at this example, and if we look at, let me see, row F, three, four, three, four. So there are two fours. It's either going to be here or here. <clears throat> so looking at this house, house six, and this row, the segment are these three cells here. And four will either be here or here. Therefore, in terms of the house, they can't be anywhere else. So we can get rid of that one. That one and that opens up the seven there and gets rid of this seven here and we get rid of sevens so it's a very powerful little tool to have associates and that's it quite simple as well so let's leave it at that until the next time